All right, guys, I'm quitting weed again. And if that's something you're interested in learning about or doing yourself, then I would suggest you stay tuned and you watch the video, right? And I don't normally wear my hat like that. I don't wear my hat like that. It's all good if you don't want to watch it too, you know what I'm saying? But you already started, so let's just get through a little bit of it, you know? For those viewers who are new here, I welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I do a lot of content relative to me struggling with my vices and I try to make it enjoyable for both myself and the viewer and maybe we all learn something along the way. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching more of, please click the No, click the subscribe button. Sometimes I fumble my words, plus I just woke up. Recently, I picked up weed again after having quit weed for about a year in totality after being a super pothead prior to that. And I fell back on my ass, started smoking weed again, made excuses as to why it was okay, this and that, but got fed up just the way I did before. And I think that all of these hurdles that I've gone through, you know, the stress and tribulations and all that shit, I think that they are, they've added up to the point now where it's like, okay, it's fucking time. Let's buckle down and do it. Well, do it again anyway. Today is my first total day without weed. Yesterday I had a little bit remainder in the morning of what I had left, but it was like crumbs and shit. And I was like coughing from it, but not the good kind of cough from weed. Like just, Whoa, what the fuck is that? What just went in my throat from the one hitter thing or whatever. And it was almost just like a sign from the universe at that point. Like, dude, just, just fucking stop again. It's not helping you. I think we can all make, you know, excuses for a lot of the shit we do in this world, right? Um, and I was making excuses for weed. I still think uh, the same thing I've said many times before that if you're someone who smokes occasionally every few weeks or something and it's not like something you're dependent upon, that's fine, you know? Um, and that's the way I was before. After I quit for a few months, I got to that point, that's fine. But I found out if I have a weed on my person or at my apartment, I'm fucking gonna smoke the shit. <laughs> this is just a problem. No more, we're done with that. And this video is gonna be a little bit more vloggy oriented sort of thing. So, uh, so first things first, for my faithful subscribers that stay in contact and really like, some of your comments are just heartfelt and I really, really appreciate them guys. And I feel like I gotta show you guys the new car. So let's go check it out. Here we go now, this here right here, 2005. Infinity G35, right? Now we're gonna go in here. Now the seats, seats are a little messed up. Seats are a little messed up for sure. But still got the sunroof though. Check that out. Yes, sir. -y. And it works. Yes, sir. It looks good. Now the front's fucked up, for sure. The dude painted the shit blue for some reason. But it runs good though. We're two full days in to no weed smoking. Yes, sir. -y. We doing it now. We doing it. I'm serious. I know I said some shit that I thought I was serious about, and then I relapsed because I didn't have control of my mind. And I'm learning to control that motherfucker. And someone asked me like some advice on like how to beat some addictions. I think he was like 18 or whatever. It all starts with our routine in the morning, you know. And uh, it's a lot easier to get out of bed in the morning when uh, when you're not smoking weed all the time. I'll say that past few mornings uh, even even the morning after the day that I smoked just a little bit the, the last bit that I had even the morning after that I shot out of bed pretty fast so it makes a significant difference now truth be told I am still drinking um, I do have plans to quit that as well but even with the drinking I mean I'm in I'm still getting in bed by like 9 30 or 10 
and I'm up when the sun comes up, man, every morning. Um, I know that I'll get to a point where I'm actually getting up before that too. So, you know, just gotta keep on pushing through. But today, I'm gonna go see my sister. And guess what, guys? You're in for a treat. Another edition of Cooking with Phil. Because I'm gonna make some uh, buffalo chicken cauliflower bake to bring over there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> All right, yeah, check me out in my kitchen. Look at what I got the bone broth. You gotta eat the broth. I'm cutting up the chicken, yeah. This chicken got some uh, bones on it. I wasn't prepared for that, but it got some bones on it. But we cut aside the bones there. And you got to put the broth in there. Yeah, look at that broth. Shut it down. Hit it for six hours. Yeah. Let it cook now. Let it cook. All right, we a few hours in, about about three and a half, four hours in. We're gonna go ahead and separate the meat a little bit, cut it up, make it make it cook better. There you go, shut it down. All right, we got the cauliflower. You are gonna grade the cauliflower and make it like a rice a rice grade. Put the put the hot sauce in there. Yeah, that sweet baby Ray's hot sauce. Now you put the chicken in there, stir it up. Need a little more hot sauce. You know, don't don't be whatever. Go ahead and put it in there now. And the cream cheese. You got the cream cheese in there. And uh, put that in there. Stir it up. I had to switch to the spoon because the, the other fork, the other spoon didn't work out now. And you empty it in there. Spread it around good. Spread it around good. Put the cheese. And half the bag of the cheese on there, you know. And now it's in there. Look at that. Oh, delicious. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is it? Seven days in now, not smoking any weed. Still getting up early. I took a walk uh, all the way to the park this morning. You know, first thing in the morning. I woke up before the sun came up now. Yes, sir. It's good stuff. I'm still drinking. Seven days in, you know, it's a tough one to quit, especially with all the uncertainty in the world. But that's just an excuse. It's all excuses. But the big benefit is. I'm not smoking weed. And this is the first day that I was like, I kind of wanted some weed. And I realized the problem there was the past couple of days, I have not been eating as healthy as I was initially. I started eating really healthy. I was making salads and fucking eating salmon and sweet potatoes and broccoli and all that shit. And the past couple of days, well, honestly, they had a sale on uh, Publix chicken dinner subs. So I had some of that, which I think was probably not a smart move according to my stomach this morning but I went ahead and said fucking and got out here and started walking anyway so even though I didn't really feel like it I wanted to just smoke some weed this morning but I'm not gonna do it staying true not gonna smoke weed and the next time I upload a video I'm not gonna be drinking scouts on her I'm not a scout but you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna do it either so I hope you enjoyed this video um if you liked the cooking, if you like the vloggy stuff, let me know, comment below, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. You like my face, you don't like my face, whatever. And if you stuck around this long and you're new, please subscribe. I'd love to have you uh, watch future content and engage in conversation with me. And especially if you're also trying to make changes in your life, beat your vices. Let's do it together, all right? One love. Trust you white in me again. Trust you